At some point, someone's going to borrow your computer and you will be worried if they are going to go through your files, settings, mess up with the, the projects they're working with. So one perfect solution is create another user account for them to use so that they will not be able to go through those files in settings. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video, creating another user account for other users. Jump in and I'm going to show it to you. Well, first up guys, go to that search bar and type in settings. Settings app will show up. Just go ahead and click that. And of course, on your left panel, you can see the accounts section. Then as you can see, this is my account, Gennard Gwaki. It is an administrator. It's the only account that my laptop has. Now I'm going to create another one. So you scroll down and look for other users. Click that and then you can see add account. Well, of course, this account is going to be used my son, which the name of my son is Keegan. So Keegan, I will not place any password. And then there you go. You click this also and make sure that the account is of course, a standard user, okay? If you are going to set as administrator, you have the same privilege together. So I'll just go with standard user, then okay. That's how simple it is. Now, the way you check this one is go to this button and then click on my account. You can see the Keegan account there. Once I press this one, it's going to log me out my computer. So I'm using the camera to capture this one. And you can see that there are two accounts already. Now, every time you're going to log in, you will have two accounts to choose before you're going to log in. Now, I wanna make sure that my main account is working. So I'll just go ahead and type in my password. Of course, I will be able to log back in with my main account. Okay, so I'll go back and try in Keegan again. It's going to log me out. Then I'm just going to click sign in. Now, this is the very first time I'm going to log in the account of Keegan. So it will take time, several minutes, because it's going to create a user profile of the account that we created. And this will only happen once. The next time we log in, this will be gone already. Okay, so once it's done, it will jump in to your account right away. It will ask you a few uh, settings here. I just went to no, 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 then accept. And then there you go. This is the account of my son already. And then you can see it here. That's my account also if I want to switch back. So as easy as that, then you will have another account. So I want to go back and sign into my Torogi Pro so that we can see. It's going to ask me a password, right? You can see two accounts already here. That's how simple it is, guys. If you have any questions, just drop a comment down below. And if you are not yet subscribed, of course, smash that subscribe button, like this video, and of course, share it to somebody who needs it. See ya on my next video.